What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Average Guys Gourmet. I'm Tony Rican and today I'm continuing my 50 states of burgers. This time I'm headed over to South Carolina for a great burger. So let's just go ahead and get started and jump right into this one. South Carolina burger is actually really simple. It consists of our beef, hot sauce, salt and pepper. Now I'm using a tablespoon of hot sauce, but go ahead and adjust this for your taste. Now while my burgers are on the grill, it's the perfect time to go ahead and put together the star of this recipe, my fried pickles. For this, I'm going to take one cup of flour over here, one cup of flour over here, and with that second cup of flour, I'm going to mix in some salt, some pepper, and a little bit of cayenne, all for flavoring. Then in the third bowl right here, I'm going to go ahead and beat a couple of an eggs. And then we're all set. All I want to do is take my pickles, drag them through the plain flour, through the egg wash, and then through my seasoned flour. Now I have my fryer set to 375 degrees. You could do this on the stove top or in a fryer. You just want to make sure the oil is hot enough so it actually cooks them and doesn't just soak them in oil. After my burgers were done cooking, I took them and put them on the top rack of my grill and I put a heaping spoonful of pimento cheese in each of them and let it go for about two minutes like that so the cheese can melt nicely. Now my burgers are done and I'm ready to put them together. So I'm going to go ahead and take my patty with the pimento cheese, I'm going to take a nice fresh slice of tomato, and then some of my fried pickle, and we're ready to dig in. This is a great burger, and with that pimento cheese, you don't need a lot of ketchup and mustard and everything, because it's already, it's got those nice juices in it, so let's just go ahead and dig in and give this one a try. Mmm, nice, messy burger, it's got a great taste, you guys will love this one, so go ahead and give it a try, and we'll see you next time.